Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. So that small bullish flag that we talked about in the last video doesn't really look bullish at the moment. Um, and it seems like the Elliott wave patterns are winning. Um, we talked we talked about a, as I said, a possible descending wedge here that was forming. It looked a little bit like that. There was an attempted breakout, but it failed. So I will take this price channel now from the chart. We don't need it anymore. Um, such a bullish flag tends to break out to the upside. However, as I said, the Elliott wave patterns rather suggested a wave four still in the making or already in the making. Surely you can never rule out further upside extensions, but the support area really that matters is down here on this time frame. It's between 61,860 and 63,560. And maybe that pullback has now started towards this support area. Um, we highlighted already in the last videos this kind of support area together with previous structural support around 62,700 and the trend line support. So that means until we break below this support area at 61.8K, there isn't really any signal for a major top. And even then, we could simply test the lower support area on the daily chart. But I talked about that in the previous video. We'll probably do it in the next one again. Uh, if you're interested in a yeah analysis of the daily chart, feel free to check out the previous video or just subscribe and just uh, check in tomorrow again. But the idea is at the moment that we could have started this wave four. That hasn't changed that perspective. So the third wave um, already was placed here on Friday. So we seem to get a little bit of a pullback. That's nothing major. I love to see these um, Elliott wave patterns as, as price ranges. And the range boundary is 61,860. So it means the price could literally just sort of move up and down here. It's, it's a range, okay? The key risk area is here or the, the risk levels are down here. So we're far away from that. The risk is quite high at the moment. If we get into this support region, maybe for some of you, there is a potential there to look for, for entries for maybe another short term swing trade or something. But overall, I think the pattern on the daily is a more reliable one to trade, which I took a look at in the, in the last video. At the moment, I think there is a potential that here an ABC structure completes um, or is about to complete it would look best with a wider ABC structure in wave four so that this ABC is simply wave A of a larger ABC. Should that B wave start from here, then the standard resistance area, but these are really unreliable for B waves. The standard resistance area is located between 65,860 and 66,250. So what could happen is something like something like this and then this that would be within wave c of four yeah so somewhere from here i mean at the moment there is no sign that this abc pattern is complete for this abc pattern to the downside and it looks somewhat corrective um the standard fib extensions for wave c are located between the hundred percent 123.6, 138, and 161.8 extension here. So this is the area that now could be tested between 65,020 and 64,370 on the micro level. Then from there, maybe a B wave bounce, then we would have to adjust the resistance area, however, uh, and then a move down. I can leave that on the chart like that, and then we'll see where it takes us tomorrow. Um, but for now, I think it looks like we want to go a little lower, take a look at these four levels, pay attention to them. Then we could get a B wave bounce and a C wave to the to the downside. Yeah? And from somewhere here, then maybe we there, there's going to be a test to that support again, and maybe we get one more high in in wave five here to the upside. Right? This would be the potential that we could get one more high in this move here. It's not needed, it's not guaranteed, it's possible the top is already in. What what does matter more is, okay, do the bulls turn up before we break below 61,860? So this is a key support area here. On the micro level, if we break below it, it doesn't mean that we go down to the mid 40K region, but it means we could sort of test the mid 50K region and that this rally that started on the 6th of September is over 
and that we might get here a larger A, B, C, but we talked about that on the daily chart. So this would be an interesting setup potentially for some, probably a better one than this one, because this is literally just for a short term swing trade. Because what are we talking about? I mean, maybe just one more high before we really um, go down further. For now, I think um, this is sort of what I'm watching as we're heading into Monday here, this ABC structure in wave four with support between 63,560 and 61,860. That's the update about um, Bitcoin. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.